Little Bear's First Christmas, a Twin Sisters ebook, written by Judy Nair. Little Bear's First Christmas. Wake up, little bear, said Mother Bear. Winter is over and spring is here. Little Bear opened one eye, then the other. He yawned and he stretched, and then he sniffed the air. Spring! cried Little Bear as he jumped out of bed. Hooray! In no time at all, Little Bear was skipping happily through the woods. Soon he came to his favorite meadow. Hello, Bunny Rabbit! Hello, Bushy Squirrel! Hello, everyone! he called. Why, hello, Little Bear! the animals said. Did you have a nice winter sleep? Yes, said Little Bear, but now I'm ready to play. What are you playing? We were telling stories about Christmas, said the animals. Christmas? asked Little Bear. What's Christmas? So the animals told Little Bear all about Christmas. He heard about the white, sparkly snow that covered the ground and was ever so much fun to roll in. He heard how the trees were decorated with strings of cranberries and popcorn and lots of twinkling candles. Best of all, he heard about Santa Claus, who came on his magic sleigh with presents for all the animals of the forest. When Little Bear went home, he asked his mother, Why don't we have Christmas, Mommy? Because, Little Bear, Christmas comes in winter, and winter is the time when we bears must sleep, said Mother Bear. But you'll have fun all spring, summer, and fall. You'll see. The days of spring and summer passed quickly, and Little Bear did have lots of fun. He ate wild huckleberries until his tummy was full. He swam in the river and played with the slippery fish. Soon it was fall. And Little Bear had fun then, too. He and his friends stomped in the leaves and played hide-and-seek among the trees. The days got colder and colder. One day, when the last leaf fell from the big tree, Mother Bear said, Little Bear, winter is here. It is time for our long sleep. But I don't want to go to sleep, said Little Bear. I want to stay up for Christmas. That night, Mother Bear tucked Little Bear in bed and gave him an extra big bear hug. Good night, Little Bear, she said. Sweet dreams. Little Bear tried as hard as he could to stay awake. But he was so sleepy, and his eyelids were so heavy, and soon he was fast asleep. Meanwhile, Little Bear's friends were getting ready for Christmas. As they decorated the trees of the forest, they passed by Little Bear's den. Poor Little Bear, said Sally Mouse as she peeked in. He won't wake up until spring. He'll miss Christmas. Wait, said Bunny Rabbit. Maybe Little Bear doesn't have to miss Christmas. What do you mean? asked the others. Let's wake up Little Bear for Christmas. Bunny Rabbit cried. Just for Christmas, and then he can go back to sleep, she added. Yes, let's, everyone agreed. So on Christmas Eve, the animals of the forest tiptoed into Little Bear's den. Wake up, Little Bear, they whispered. It's Christmas. 
On a little sleigh with its very own jingle bells, the animals pulled sleepy little bear to a special place in the middle of the forest. When Little Bear opened his eyes, he was delighted. It's just like the Christmas in your stories, he cried. All that night, Little Bear celebrated Christmas with his friends. They ate their favorite foods, sang their favorite songs, and made angels in the soft new snow. Then the animals heard the sound of ringing bells. It was Santa Claus. His sleigh was loaded with presents, which he handed out as all the animals cheered. Everyone opened their presents, and the celebration continued. It was the best time Little Bear had ever had. When it was all over, the animals took Little Bear to his den and tucked him into bed. Good night, Little Bear, they said. See you in the spring. Mother Bear woke Little Bear at the first sign of spring. Did you have a good sleep, she asked. I'm sorry you missed Christmas, but now you can have lots of fun. But I didn't, Mommy, said Little Bear. I didn't miss Christmas, and it was wonderful. Mother Bear smiled. She was glad her little bear had such sweet dreams. <laughs>